With the Olympics over for another four years, we have some big results coming in on the ATP. We have some ranking changes as well. Even though the Olympics is not worth any points, we did have some changes to the rankings because players didn't play events that they won last year. Let's go have a look at who actually won the tournaments that were played over the last week. There are only two tournaments being played on the ATP and the WTA. The first one, of course, being the Olympics. And Zhang beat Vecchi to the gold medal match, 6-2, 6-3, to get the biggest trophy of her career. Unfortunately, though, not worth any ranking points, so she didn't change in the rankings, but massive achievement nonetheless. And of course, Novak Djokovic beating Carlos Alcaraz 7-6-7-6 to win the gold medal and complete the career Golden Slam. Again, no ranking points, but the achievement is much bigger than the ranking points would have been anyway. Over in Washington, we had Pelabadosa winning against Buzkova in the final 6-1-4-6-6-4 to lift one of the biggest trophies of her career, and she got a massive boost in the ranking because of it. And Washington for the men, Sebastian Korda lifting the biggest trophy of his career, coming back from a set down against Kabali, winning in three sets, 4-6-6-2-6-love to lift the trophy in Washington. All right, let's talk about the players that are outside the top 10 that have gone up in the rankings over the last week. Starting with Sebastian Korda, he's gone up four spots to number 18 in the world, which is a career high for him after winning in Washington. Kaboli also got a massive boost, 15 spots higher than last week, to number 33 in the world, which is also a career high for him. Palabadosa, she goes up 22 spots to number 40 in the world after winning the title and 500 points in Washington. So some players there that played really well, deciding not to play the Olympics and getting rewarded for it. Players have dropped down in the rankings this week. We had Griggsport dropping down 12 spots to number 40 in the world after choosing to play the Olympics and not defend the points he made from last year's final in Washington. Dan Evans he went down 118 spots to 176 in the world, also not playing in Washington that he won last year, opting to play the Olympics. He, of course, played with Andy Murray in the Olympics, so maybe it was worth it in the end, but his ranking plummeted. And Schmidt Lover, despite making the semifinals of the Olympics, dropped down eight spots, number 75 in the world, because she chose to play the Olympics instead of playing the tournament that got her points last year. So some players there that went down to the rankings, losing points because they chose to play the Olympics instead. All right, let's have a look at the WTA rankings to start with, because there were no big changes. Nothing at the top with Sviantec still at number one. Goff still at number two despite losing all their points from Washington last year. Just out of Sabalenka at number three. With Rebecca at four and Paolini at five. Pagula at six and Zhang at number seven. We did have a change down the bottom with Collins going up to number eight and Zachary going down to number nine because Zachary made the final of Washington last year and lost all the points from that. Krajikova rounding out the top 10 for this week, but with Canada coming up a 1,000 event and a lot of those players playing, there could be some changes going in to the US Open in a couple weeks. Over to the race of the finals and no real changes because everybody pretty much played the Olympics. Sviantec still the only player to qualify for the WTA finals at number one with Rabakina at two. Sabalenka though did get a boost to go to number three because she did choose to play in Washington making the semifinals. Got a couple hundred points there. Overtake Pelini who gets bumped down to number four. Goff comes in at five with Collins at six, Krajika at seven and Jung at eight, Ostapenko at nine, and Kazakina rounds out the top 10 for this week. But like I said, 1,000 points on the line this week in Canada. Could see some players getting some massive boosts and this could change in the next week. Over on the ATP rankings now, and again, due to the Olympics, a lot of players didn't change. Sinner still stays at number one with Djokovic at number two and Elkraz at number three. Zverev at four and Medvedev at five. But Hubi Hercac, he goes up to number six, which is a career high for him, pushing Dimonor down to number seven after Dimonor failed to defend the points from this time last year. Rublev, he comes in at number eight with Rude at nine, and Dimitrov rounds out the top 10 for this week. But like I said, Canada coming up a thousand points. This could look a lot different in the next couple weeks. Over on the race of the finals and still nobody's qualified but Yannick Sinner is only a couple of wins away from possibly qualifying so if he does well in Canada could qualify for the ATP finals by the end of the week but he's at number one with Alcaraz at number two Zverev at three and Medvedev at four Rude comes in at number five with Djokovic at six Dimonor at seven and Tsitsipas at eight Fritz at nine and Paul at number ten but again a thousand points on the line a lot can change in a week especially with that thousand points and a lot of these names are actually playing the only three that are not playing is Alcaraz Djokovic and Dimonor so we could definitely Definitely see some changes in a week's time. So there it is. No massive changes because the Olympics don't award points. They used to award 750 points for the gold medal back in the day, but unfortunately now, no points awarded for the Olympics, just the medals, which, look, if you know about Djokovic, I'm sure you're not worried too much about the points. The medal is everything that he wanted. Man, what a crazy week it was. But Washington also happened, and that was some crazy stuff there as well that was going on. Let me know in the comments below. What's been the highlight of the week for you? Has it been the Djokovic gold medal? Maybe it was Zhang winning the gold medal. Maybe it was the doubles in the Olympics. Maybe you were watching Washington and Bedosa winning a title for the first time in a while. That might have been the highlight for you, but there it is. They're the rankings for this week. Going to Canada, things are going to change.